Why hello everybody, welcome on back for another brand new video, and my name is Chilling with the Devin Vlogs Man. That's right, yours truly, your boy here, that I am here today. That I am going to definitely be talking about right here and right now on this Devin Vlogs. Exactly. Of this Devin Vlogs. Exactly. And this time, well, specifically, we're going to be talking about Top 5. And you guys want to know what top five is? You know, besides Saint and NFL, well, pretty much whatsoever. But you know, I've already made a video talking about that, and yeah. So I did decide what my favorite team was, just for basically that was one and two. That you know, I stay with pretty much like one or an extra extra number. I would still stick with, and you know, just say what happens next for that. So pretty much. Now, as in for um, clearly, by the way. Just letting you guys know exactly is that, well, this time we're definitely going to get right into this, by the way. And, oh yeah, by the way, the double teams I'd say I would stick with is I was Seahawks and then Houston. You know, Houston, Texans or something, Houston's, yeah, pretty much. So, anyways, let's just get right on ahead with this. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give this one a like, comment, subscribe, above, be notified. And if you feel free to enjoy this, well then... Enjoy it while you guys still enjoy it. So anyway, let's talk about top five of our favorite NBA teams. You know, like I said, I'm not a basketball guy. I'm more of a football guy or pretty much considered like, oh, you know, just watch what kind of sports. But trust me, I'm always a little bit good at basketball, but I kind of would rather stick with NFL just for a great reason or whatsoever. But in my own expensive ways, I'd say that will make it fair and even. Is that we're going to see what happens on to our top five favorite NBA teams. And oh yeah, I have decided which favorites I would stick with. And I would say is why and why, you know, by five and ten. Which, trust me, ten is going to be next. But five is already starting right now. So let's make this as top five. So anyway, here comes number one. Let's see what we have here for number one. So anyway, let's do it. Let's go. All right, so and for this reason of number one, by the way, one out of five, or should I say one top one of five is, well, for the first one we have is the Trailblazers. Now, for this reason why I would say why I would say Trailblazers is that, well, as I said again, I've always picked pretty wisely of what teams I would be wise in about, you know, just saying is like, what teams would be a little bit better or little teams aren't actually like, you know, since I don't barely even talk why exactly since... Well, I'm just going to get straight to the point, is that why do I say Trailblazers are a better team? Is that, well, just for that reason that they're a better team, which I know some of them sucked for a few times. You know, I'm only going to be talking about the past times, that whenever they were actually a bit better. Not the present, but just in the past ones. So what I was trying to say, by the way, is why did I pick number one? That is pretty much the Blazers. That reason is that, well... And for this reason why I picked that option is that, well, you know, I kind of barely stick to the reason I sticked with was that, oh, you know, I just kind of liked uh, what the team looked like exactly and kind of looked like pretty good. You know, I just say it was not that bad, you know, s since Damian Lillard already left the Blazers team, which I already knew that happened. But at this point, yeah, some of that actually sucks. Trust me, some of that does suck, which I really say it would. But at this point, mm, you know, some of them had a good run and some of them will. But as it for now exactly is that, well, I actually did say that I'm choosing what my option would be as for top one, since now I'm giving it from the beginning, is that, well, I say that the Blazers would be number one. Yeah, pretty much top one out of five, so I'd say top one out of five. Anyway, so let's get to number two. So here we go, guys. Here comes number two of five. All right, everybody, here we are for number two. So anyway, top two of five. Since now, this time, what is my secondary team? My favorite secondary team? Well, as I did say into a call what would be the second favorite, I actually have chosen something random for what team I would say what my secondary team would be. Is you know what this would be? It would be called Oklahoma City Thunder. 
Now, why did I choose Thunder? Well, for that reason why I've chosen Thunder is because, well, let's just say that Thunder is a bit of a good strategy. You know, just a bit more of a, a secondary team, that I would say. Like, you know, there's always a dairy that's always something pretty useful for what reason it is. Like saying it's like it for partners. Like, you know, I mentioned about Seahawks or just, you know, Texans. But now I'm mentioning just Blazers and just Thunder. You know, in this scenario in two ways. Well, in these other good ways, I would say, is why would I choose, um, you know, why I would choose is the Thunder. Is that the reason why I would choose the Thunder is because, well, I'd say Thunder is actually a great, interesting team. You know, basically in Oklahoma... Not bad of a team, which I, the team is not that bad at all for that kind of name. But the name is creative, and I say the name's pretty cool. You know, when it says it's like, the Funda. You know, I mean, why not get that a little bit in that good, interesting thing? You know, why not kind of get that into that good cycle of interesting thing? You know, by saying with the Funda, you know, just making that interesting. So, anyways, that's what I would say about Oklahoma. And I have to say, not going to lie about the Funda. Well, I'm not sure if Thunder already won, but maybe so few times of other players have already won too, which, again, I'm not very sure. But like I said, I'm not a basketball person. I'm just more of a NFL kind of a guy. But basically, since I'm now actually asking about, like, you know, for top one, for five of, like, just NBA teams, then, yes, yeah, so that's what I might say. And then, oh, yeah, as in for a good stance of good chances, I'd say that, well, to be fair with the Thunder... I'd say that Funder is actually very of a great team and a very um, interesting name of that kind of team name that I would say is to be fair as odds. But, you know, very good team. Actually great, a pr impressive team, so pretty much. All right, well, that's just probably it for what I would say. And, yeah, so it's confirmed that I say it is definitely confirmed by me that Oklahoma, known as the Funder, is definitely my secondary favorite team, or otherwise, if I would have to change the secondary part. So, it still recommends staying there. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get to number three of top three. Or should I say three of five? So, let's get right to that one next. So, let's do it. Alright, so what's the third team? Or should I say, what's top number three? Well, you guessed it, everybody, on number three. The number three is Miami Heat. Well, one question. Why would I say Miami Heat? Well, in this scenario of this question is that, oh, yeah, I actually figured something a very uh, interesting way, if I, I would say, is like, oh, what would be the interesting way, however, of Miami Heat? Well, first off, I got to say about... I, uh, I gotta say about the Heat, well, the Heat actually was doing pretty well and impressive on a few times in the playoffs, you know, I mean, face to say that I won't blame the Heat if they ever still try winning or losing, but I'd say to the Heat, well, the Heat did a very alright job, and they did super well somewhere at the some point where they even got back up into the some of the points of winning, I'm not gonna lie about Heat, oh yeah, the Heat did very impressive, if I'd say so myself, which I was being pacific or not being sure what... However, the score, but like I said, I won't remember of which teams actually still won or lost, which I'm making a bit amount of guesses of seeing where that's leading into. But, you know, I'd say to the fair odds of Heat, oh yeah, the Heats did really of an all right job, which I'd say fair enough to that. So, you know, I gotta say the Heat, oh yeah, impressive to impressive with the Heat. So I'd say it's fair odds with that. I'd say fair odds with the Heat, and I'd say really very much of fair odds with that question. So... It's just a matter of fair odds. So anyway, I'd say to the Heat, well, they did a very impressive job. Or even still, heck again, even maybe have lost to somewhere, which I wasn't sure that they still lost. But, well, who the heck knows? Like, who the really heck knows? But I'm not that sure. So if anybody does want to tell me in the comments for whatsoever about how the Heat still did, well, I'd actually be impressive to hear from them. So anyway... Let's just get to number four before we even do each to five exactly. So let's just get straight to top four of five. So here we go. Let's get to number four of five. Here's number four, everybody. Let's see what number four is. And here it is, number four, Phoenix Suns. Well, in this question, hmm, the Phoenix Suns. Well, why did I add this for four? 
Well, for why I've actually added for this on number four is that, well, let's just say about the Phoenix Suns. Okay, the Suns, well, they actually were pretty good of a team still exactly in a matter of a good way I would be saying that positively with the Suns. Oh, yeah, the Suns, oh, yeah, the Suns did all right in a matter of a good way, just to be fair enough with the Suns. But, you know, I'd say Suns are always of a good team since Suns actually were impressive back to the time where they were actually doing pretty well exactly against some few other NBA teams that is known a little bit specifically, you know, from actually trying to make some shoots on the basket nets or pretty much with the basketball. So I'd say fair enough for the Suns that the Suns did a very good managing of a job so far as I would say to call it. But the Suns, oh yeah, the Suns are all right, which I don't blame either Suns to not even lose or win. But I'd say fair enough to the ways have many odds for however that, yeah, fair odds with the Suns. Which, again, I would have no other words to say about the Suns, but the Suns are right, but they're okay since I'd say they're an okay team. During just on top four from five, so I'd say Suns are an alright team, so yeah, fair enough. So, anyways, let's get to the last team that we're about to do. So, anyway, here comes number five. Let's get to that right this second. Alright, so here's the last team that we're going to get right ahead with number five. So, in this point of scenario, is that here's what we have to say about, like, the last team. So, the last team we're going to say is that it'll be Cleveland. So, again, a Cleveland team. Yes, yeah, so, so far I would say is about the Clevelanders. Even if I get the name incorrected or whatsoever, but sorry if I get it incorrected for the team name. So I'd say about the Cleveland team, hmm, not bad of a team at all since I'd say that, well, I actually would say Cleveland has been a pretty actually awesome, well done of a team. Since I'd say that's fair enough with my odds exactly since, hey, you know, I'd say they won sometimes and some of them didn't win. So I'd say for Cleveland, Cleveland did an all right impressive job for how they shoot the nets into the ball exactly. But, you know, just shooting the net, which I'd say that's not that bad from Cleveland. But, you know, fair, not, fair enough with the Cleveland, so I'd say fair enough of it. So, anyways, well, that's just pretty much it of the teams exactly, so that's just all I would say. And, yeah, so that's all I have to say from top one through five. So, let's just make it all the way to finish this entire thing, and then that's when we get to save up part one. Uh, wait, that's when we get to save was, like, Top 1 to 10, since we're going to be doing a 10 next time. So, anyway, let's just finish this all the way around up. Since I have to say, it's like, oh, yeah, Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland better hopefully do a great job some other time. Since hopefully Cleveland does, like, a, a very good professional otherwise and win a, another game or somehow, which I'm not sure if they could. But I'm just saying what's my odds to be a fair way of saying what's the bet on this. So, yeah, let's just finish it up. And then we'll probably see you guys in the next time. All right, well, that's it, folks. That's it so far of top five NBA teams. I think that's pretty much it. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give this video a like and comment, subscribe the bell to be notified. And my name is Chilling of the Devon Vlogs Man. And if you want to see more new vlogs coming up pretty soon, then go on ahead and remain to subscribe. And oh yeah, I have to say, if you guys actually do like this, um you know, so-called with the tops exactly, with top five exactly, and ten. Oh, yeah, ten's going to be worked on pretty pronto, as I would say that ten's going to be worked on soon. You know, whenever I get all that set it up. You know, as I said again, not more of a basketball guy, I'm just more of an NFL guy myself. So, without that being said, folks, I hopefully you guys enjoy this excitement of this interesting treat for you, everybody. Which, if you guys do like this odds exactly of me adding the numbers to this, then, yeah, I'd say... It's pretty very good for me. I was actually adding these numbers. So without that being said, I am chilling with the Dev Vlogs, man. Thank you all very much for watching. And without that being said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. If anybody has any questions, then go on ahead. And if you're a new person, definitely do so. Anyways, I am chilling with the Dev Vlogs, man. I'll see you in the next video. And we're going to see you guys on top 10 of pretty much the same thing. But it'll be through 6 and 10, which that would be the same thing, so who knows. Anyway, thank you, everybody. Have a great day. See you next time.
Bye-bye, everybody.